This is a guide to applying for a Welly Star Wetland Centre Award. First thing to note, applications close on the 15th of July 2024. Chances are you already know what the award is. Here is a couple of images of some of the existing winners to get you in the mood. Now let's look at the process. Here is the web address that you will need. You'll also find it somewhere below this video. Please look at the FAQ there. It allows you to preview the questions. And you really, we want you to do that because if you like the look of them and you want to apply, then you have to register for the platform and then you receive your unique web link to make an application. So the process in a brief overview, are you a Welly member? Only Welly members can apply. So if you're not a Welly member, you go to the Welly website. There's a join button at the top right hand corner. Click that. You'll need to send us back a couple of forms in uh, Word document forms. And then we'll process your membership application. That could take about a week. So bear that in mind and then go through that process. And then you're a Welly member. Yes. So preview those questions. Have a look at the questions under the FAQ. And how do you feel about them? Do you feel hopeful that you can go ahead and apply? If not, do you know what? That's fine. That's in fact, it's kind of good. It's almost what we want because we are here to support you. If you see lots of weaknesses in your work, you're evaluating it and that's an important process. Go to the Welly website. There's a tab marked resources. Look in our newsletters, look in our webinars and look at other members and their profiles to see how maybe you could learn bilaterally from each other. Can make contact with us. We really want this process to help you develop no matter what stage you're at. If you're hopeful and the answer is yes, then start gathering your materials because those preview questions, they need to be uh, given evidence. They need to be evidenced and you need to have examples of how you do those things that you say yes to in the questions. So gather those materials together. There's a few areas as well where you could write um, up to 200 words of supporting material. So gather those materials. Then you need to register on the platform. So we're using a third party awards platform to make it easy for you and for the judges. So have a look at that platform, register, and then once you've registered, you'll be ready to apply. So first things first, we'll look at registration. This is a link that you'll find on the STARS page of the Welly website. You'll see the uh, very first step where you create the account in the awards platform. Do this after you've had a look at the, uh, the preview of the questions to see if you're ready to go ahead. Those big plus signs are all you're going to need to click here. This registration stage, that's where you choose the language that you're going to use. Now, later on in the application process, the languages are much clearer. Um, for now, it's all replicated three times. Repli yes. Um, that stuff about credit cards, you can ignore it. There is no fee to register or to apply for these awards. So when you've chosen your language, click that plus, scroll down to the big button, and then you go into this next initial registration. And again, you'll see the three languages are there. Fill in this form and click the next button. There's a big long link there. Go to applicant portal. You don't need to click that just now. What you do is check your email because you'll have received an email with your login details almost immediately and you have to save this email. And you'll note that this email is also in three languages. That's just a restriction again with the system for cost reasons. Your application form will just be in one language, the one you chose. Now, if you don't get this email, it's really important. So have a look in your spam folder. If it's not there, email me uh, at welly at wwt.org.uk. Tell me the details you used to register and I'll look into it for you. So now you've registered and it's time to work on your application. To go to the, applica the applicant portal, click the link in the email and log in with the pin that it has given you. And here we are. This is what the application form looks like. This is where you'll be answering questions and uploading supporting information. Before that, note the two buttons at the top of the screen, save as draft and submit. You can only click submit once. After that, there is no going back. So don't click it by accident, but do 
frequently click save as draft. Now the questions. I'm not going to look at them all here with you because there are many, many variables for your circumstances and all the questions. But let's look at some of the fundamentals. Most of these questions require you to select an answer. Yes, no, or not applicable. Now in this example, are there signs on the roads before people reach your center? If there are, select yes. If there are not, select no. And if, for example, you don't have a fixed site, but you go to schools and other places to do your work, then select not applicable. And the judges have asked me to really emphasize a point about the term not applicable. We will not automatically treat it as a negative. But we know that every centre has different circumstances and we're keen not just to reward centres that have you know, huge budgets to do absolutely everything. So we want to be aware of the conditions in which you're working. And so we have fields where you can upload evidence, such as photos or very short videos, and a box where you can type in justification of your answers. Here you have to strike a balance. We need to see that your answers are genuine, but we also don't want to have a huge amount to read or really long videos to watch. So just consider the, the volunteer judges at this case. This last text box gives a space to tell us something particular that we didn't think to ask about. And finally, for what level of star you would like to be considered. For example, maybe you excel at people interaction, but you don't have great boardwalks or permanent buildings, so you might only go for the people category. This is part of the self-evaluation and, and reflection process, and maybe also something you can raise with potential funders that oh, if, you know, if we had more support financially, we could go for a full star, just as an example, but we can go into that more detail at another time if you wish. And on the biodiversity category, please note that we do assume the presence of bio, biodiversity, right? So this is actually a very hard star to get um, with only a few questions. Now, maybe you're ready to submit or maybe you want to save as draft one more time to reflect on it. Just be sure to submit before the de application deadline of the 15th of July, 2024. That's it for this guide. Here is the website address and email address that you'll need for, for uh, applying and for any support with us wli.wwt.org.uk slash stars. That's where you'll find the preview of the questions, the registration form, and from then you'll also be able to go into your um, application form. You can email the Core Welly team for any support, any questions. Uh, that includes me, or you can also contact the head of Welly, Mr. Chris Rostron. The email address is wli at wwt.org.uk. Thank you for taking part and for joining this scheme for self-evaluation and, and enhancing how we work as a network. And good luck. <laughs>